So I think it's an exciting phase in India and especially on the two-wheeler and the three-wheeler, there's going to be a uh, growth coming in uh, at the bottom of the pyramid because of affordable mobility needs. Uh, obviously, we're all uh, waiting to see how the FAME2 policy is rolled out. Uh, I believe in the short term, both on the two-wheeler and the three-wheeler, some sort of a, uh, support would be helpful to get this industry going. And beyond that, as we get scale, I think things will start rolling. You know? I think that's a good question. Actually, there are, uh, uh, while clearly that is a very strong candidate, we also believe there are cleaner, uh, other cleaner mobility options that we at Greaves are working on, which is like uh, CNG and hybrid solutions as well. So over a period of time, let the consumer decide. But clearly, EV will be the long-term uh, future. But uh, short to medium term, we believe uh, options like clean CNG and hybrid could also be options. Yeah. So I think it's a clearly year over year, we are now seeing the awareness increase, the amount of work that's going on in this industry increase. And I think uh, having seen other markets, both West and China, go through this journey, I think it's very heartening to see that uh, we are getting to over the next couple of years a uh, tipping point I would say in terms of adoption. So uh, clearly I think when you look at from a consumer standpoint in India uh, cost of ownership as well as range anxiety I think those will be the two key areas. So in addition to the awareness issue that's overall uh, I think the range anxiety is a thing that the industry needs to work on and uh, I know there is a lot of infra build up that's happening both on the EV side as well as on the CNG side and I think as the infrastructure comes in in terms of char charging facilities and uh, as well as the battery prices going down we believe that the, uh, the industry is poised to grow.